When it comes to travel tripods, there's a few important specs I always look out for. Most of all, it needs to be lightweight, compact, and super portable, but it also needs to give me a range of different shooting heights and options, ideally from really high to really low. On top of those specs, when testing it out practically, it needs to be reasonably sturdy and support my heavy camera and heavy lenses. It needs to have a decent ball head that's easy to use in both portrait and landscape orientations, and overall, just be easy to use. But can you get all those things in a decent tripod for under $150 US? Well, in this video, I'm going to answer that question by testing out this lightweight travel tripod from Small Rig. Stacks up in the specs, but how will it perform practically? Let's find out. A quick disclaimer out of the way, I was sent this tripod. I did not pay for it with my own money, but this review is not paid and will not be watched by anyone other than me before sharing it with you lovely people. I have purchased a lot of different odds and ends from Small Rig in the past. My entire R5 cage setup is from Small Rig and they haven't disappointed me in the past. I will put the exact model down in the description so you can check it out for yourself, but this is the Small Rig AP02 and it comes in at 139 US dollars. Now, of course, at this price point, it isn't carbon fiber, it is an aluminum alloy tripod, but it does only weigh 1.15 kilograms. Now, to give you a bit of context here, the very popular Peak Design travel tripod, even if you go for the $650 US carbon fiber version of that tripod, it comes in heavier than this tripod. Not only that, you can get a higher maximum height from this tripod and they have very similar payloads. And this is almost five times cheaper. Plus, it does actually come with a two year warranty as well if you're worried about buying such a cheap tripod. But is this tripod right for you? Let's take a closer look at how it performs. I've been shooting around Sydney for the past week with this tripod, putting it through a number of different tests, especially with time lapses. This to me is how I always test my tripods because they need to be really sturdy and stay steady throughout these long time lapses, even in windy conditions. As I walk around, they need to be pretty lightweight and easy to use and flexible enough to access lots of different positions and locations. So honestly, so far, I really have nothing to complain about when it comes to this tripod. I've only been able to dig out one slight negative, which I will touch on later in the video. So height and versatility wise, when using this tripod, you can extend it up to 159 centimeters with the center column ascended or 130 centimeters with the center column down. It has a minimum height of 43 centimeters, but you can also invert the center column to get as low to the ground as possible. It also has three different angle positions when you're locking in the legs, which are always nice for versatility as well. You'll find three clips on each leg for quick height adjustments, and the ball head itself is also super easy to adjust. One adjustment to lock in and change the angle or orientation, and then another that allows you to turn it a full 360 degrees. It is also Arca Swiss, which is great, meaning you can still use all your other plates and clips like your Peak Design capture clips. I would say for such a cheap and lightweight travel tripod, it isn't the most stable tripod I've used naturally, but it stacks up pretty well when I compare it to other lightweight travel tripods that I've used, and including one that I often travel with, the Ulanzi lightweight travel tripod. So even on these time lapses, I had no issue with the wind or anything like that. Plus it does have a hook like a lot of tripods to weigh it down if you need extra stability. Like most tripods with these center columns, you will find it slightly more stable with the center column down. It can support up to eight kilograms, which easily covers any of my heavy camera and lens combinations, even if I have some mic and other accessories attached on there. It also comes with a carry bag and has these hidden stainless steel feet for different terrain as well. I can't comment too much on the overall longevity of this tripod. I have been using it quite solidly for the past week. Of course, no issues there, but the fact that it does come with a two year warranty should give you a bit of peace of mind. So coming back to literally the only downside I could come up with for this tripod at this price point, which is its overall storage length. It's coming in at 53 centimeters, which is slightly longer than other tripods I'm currently using. This is by no means a deal breaker. Definitely the weight and overall max height are far more important to me personally. I do usually sit it on the side of my bag where I rarely notice this anyway, but maybe worth mentioning for you depending where you will be storing the tripod. To mention here on the plus 
plus side, it is actually super thin, which may be more important for you than the length, meaning it will easily fit into the side of bags and different compartments, having a diameter of 50 millimeters. So this might only be an issue for you if you're trying to fit it inside something, maybe you store your tripod inside a short bag and that might be an issue, but you can actually remove the center column quite quickly, which will make it a bit shorter as well. Lastly, a couple of things to mention, the Arca plate included feels nice and sturdy and of a good quality. You also have two bubble levels and this extra threaded hole on the side of the tripod, which makes it super easy to attach something like a phone holder or a magic arm or other accessories. Personally, I can see myself using this when I'm recording videos like this and needing a script to read from, I can easily put a phone or a tablet, attach it to that extra thread on the tripod. So overall, when you look at the price, the weight, and just the different shooting options this tripod provides, it really is great value for money. Whether you're looking for a new main tripod or perhaps a slightly cheaper second tripod, this one does absolutely everything I expect from my travel tripods at a real fraction of the price. So overall, I am pretty impressed, excited to see what other products Small Rig might bring out in the future. If you do wanna check it out, remember, I will pop the links down in the description. Again, thanks so much for watching. Keep on creating, keep on going, my friends. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.